Yeah, you know, it's always good. I mean, you know, a big part of what we do is is running, and uh, we'll be utilising the gyms and things tomorrow as we have done through through the week. Uh, but equally, is the is the anaerobic ex activities they have to do within the game, and the only way to to get better that is to do them. So things like the prowler or the tire flips or pushing of a car, uh, anybody who knows who have done that will realise that after about. 10 seconds of that becomes very painful. So um, it's getting their bodies to tolerate that at higher levels and make them better when they get into contacts against opposition. And then you put on top of that, obviously, the running that they do. And then you start getting somewhere towards being more effective in the game of sevens generally. And then we pick that up with intensity and speed. Um, and we get somewhere towards where we need to be going into the HSBC series. So good, it's a good bit of fun as well. We put them in teams and groups of five or six. And they've all given themselves names in terms of the teams and adds a bit of competition to what we've done, a bit of fun. Uh, but ultimately, they will working and they get the work done. I think it's important in any team that you're building is um, uh, that you, you have quality players, quality individuals, and that's people uh, that know how to behave and know what the standard is necessary in competition and training and that they impart that knowledge to, to younger players, um, almost acting as, as, as mentors in many respects and that's how it, it happens quickly. Uh, any team can find their way over a period of time but when you've got senior players that know it and can set those standards and remind young players of where they need to be then um, I think that helps, certainly helps me, helps in building this environment into a winning culture. See we've got an enlarged squad here and I'm looking at utilising players throughout the squad to find out a little bit more about them. Obviously uh, I'll be relatively new to Fiji, I don't know some of the players as well as people here do but I need to make up my mind on those and I need to see them under pressure in competitions both in training and in overseas so um, we'll be looking to go across to Germany, to Australia, to the USA uh, before we actually have to we all sort of do some internal trials here with, with ourselves and possibly play against some other local teams. So um, I'm looking to get the players playing. Obviously they need to play, that's where I want them to be. But I want them to have the right training behind them as well so they can take on what is going to be the toughest international season to date. Hello, what? Tough. A lot more improvement, but it's fun. We're gonna make it. I think uh, I think we are starting to build on uh, fitness. Not starting, we are middle of uh, our progress. So I think this year will be a good year. A lot of uh, new boys, all good boys, but. Uh, Rugby still the same, it's still okay. rugby seven. New no boys, but still rugby seven. Yeah. Nice. It, was, it was good. What was surprising was that for some of you, the quickest times on one of the exercises, or three of the exercises, the quickest times were the last ones we did. So that shows me there's more in there. It's an easy one for a coach. If you were smart, you'd have done them slower. What? Okay, but because it's quicker, that means people are just not perhaps working hard enough. That's my job. We've got to get up there all the time, okay? And this is a good good way to do it. Yeah, good. Muscle? Muscle.